Let me ask you a dangerous question. What if everything you've been told about studying is wrong? Think about it. Every teacher, every motivational speaker, every so-called study guru on the internet keeps feeding you the same recycled garbage. Work hard, stay consistent, put in the hours, and eventually you'll succeed. But if that were true, why is it that thousands of students grind 8 to 10 hours a day and still end up with mediocre results, while a select few barely study a fraction of that time and still walk away with the highest grades? See, the truth that nobody dares to tell you is this. Studying isn't about time. It's about control. Control over your brain. Control over your focus. Control over the exact state of mind where learning becomes effortless. And that's what this four-hour scientific study method is designed to do. Not motivate you with cheap quotes, not guilt trip you into endless hours of revision, but rewire the way you approach learning itself. I'll be blunt, most people fail because they mistake activity for progress. They sit with open books, highlight random lines, watch lectures on double speed, and convince themselves they're learning. But deep down, they know it's an illusion. They know that when the exam paper arrives, their brain will betray them. This method destroys that illusion. It doesn't care about how long you sit at a desk. It forces you into short, brutal bursts of hyper-focused studying where every minute is engineered for maximum memory retention. You study less, but your brain absorbs more. That's why I could pull off A-stars while everyone else drowned in notes and revision guides. And let me warn you, once you understand this system, you can't go back. You'll start noticing how much time your classmates waste. You'll see through the lies of study motivation videos. You'll realize the game was rigged in your favor all along. You just didn't have the key. This video is that key. And if you stick with me for the next few minutes, I'll break down the exact steps of this method. So clear and so practical that you'll have no excuse left. But there's a catch. Most people will watch this, nod their heads, and then do nothing. They'll keep clinging to their old routines because it feels safer. That's why I'm giving you a choice. Either commit to this fully and change the way you study forever, or click away now. Keep wasting time and accept being average. Because once you see how this works, you won't be able to lie to yourself anymore. So if you're ready to stop being a slave to long hours and finally master your exams with only four hours a day, listen carefully. Step one, the ruthless elimination of fake study. Let's be honest, you're addicted to fake productivity. Highlighters, sticky notes, color-coded planners, endless study with me videos, all of it makes you feel like you're doing something. But your brain isn't learning, it's decorating. Here's the brutal truth. Real studying feels uncomfortable. If you aren't mentally sweating, you aren't learning. That's why the first rule of this method is simple. Destroy all fake study habits. No passive reading, no highlighting, no background music, no pretty notes for Instagram. From this moment on, every study session you do must be active recall, forcing your brain to dig, struggle, and fight for the answer. Because that struggle is what wires knowledge deep into your memory. I know it sounds harsh, but think about it. Exams don't reward who had the prettiest notes. They reward who can spit out answers under pressure. So why waste your time pretending? Step two, the 50 minute brain assault. This is the heart of the method. Your brain can't focus for hours nonstop. It's not designed that way, but science shows you can hit a 50 minute deep focus window where learning speed skyrockets. Here's how it works. You pick one subject, not three, not five, just one. You cut off every distraction. Phone in another room, notifications off, door closed, no excuses. For the next 50 minutes, you attack your material with active recall. That means testing yourself with flashcards, writing exam style answers from memory, or teaching the concept out loud. And let me be clear, during those 50 minutes, you are not allowed to be comfortable. 
You are not allowed to just read through the chapter. You are not allowed to drift. You are at war with your own laziness. When the timer ends, you rest. Not scroll, not binge. You rest, walk around, grab water, stretch, 10 minutes. Then you reset for the next 50 minute round. Step three, the four hour wall. Now, here's where most people fail. They think, if four hours is this powerful, imagine what I could do with eight, wrong. That's like thinking if one shot of medicine heals you, drinking the whole bottle will make you invincible. No, it will poison you. Four hours is the wall. It's where your brain is at maximum efficiency without collapsing. That's why the method is built around four rounds of 50 minutes each, spread across your day. That's it, four deep, brutal, 50-minute sessions. Once you've done that, you are done. You've already outperformed the 99% who waste 10 hours with half focus. You might resist this. You might think, but I need more time. No, you don't. You need more quality. Every extra hour after four dilutes your focus, burns you out, and actually erases retention. You're not building knowledge. You're leaking it. Step four. The nightly mental replay. Here's the secret weapon. Most students stop once they finish studying. But your brain doesn't stop. It keeps processing while you sleep. If you know how to trigger it, you can literally make your brain study for you. Here's what you do. Before bed, you spend 15 minutes replaying what you studied that day. Mentally, not with notes. You close your eyes, lie in bed, and ask yourself, what did I learn today? Can I still explain it without looking? Even if you forget, that struggle forces your brain to fire those connections again. When you fall asleep, your brain replays and strengthens them automatically, which means you wake up smarter than when you went to bed. That's why the morning after a proper session feels like magic. You remember things effortlessly, as if they've been burned into your mind. Step 5. The Ruthless Accountability Trap now, let me be clear. Most people watching this will quit. They'll say, sounds amazing, try it for a day, then slide back into laziness. That's why you need a trap. Here's mine. Every night, I had to write down exactly how many 50-minute sessions I completed. No excuses, no lies, just raw numbers staring back at me. And when you see a two instead of a four on the page, your brain feels disgust. That disgust is fuel. That's what forces you to show up tomorrow. You want grades? You want results? Then you need consequences for your laziness. Because if there are no consequences, you'll always choose comfort. Step six, the shift in identity. This is where the brainwashing hits you hardest. Understand this, studying is not about intelligence, it's about identity. If you still think of yourself as the average student, you will behave like one. You will procrastinate like one. You will sabotage yourself like one. The final step of this method is to become the student who only needs four hours. The one who studies smarter, not longer. The one who laughs while others drown in notes because you know the secret. The moment you internalize this, something scary happens. You stop competing. You stop comparing. Because you realize the game was never about working harder, it was about working differently. So let me make it very clear. This method is not about motivation. Motivation dies. This is about reprogramming. Four hours. 50 minute deep focus attacks. No fake studying. Nightly mental replays. Ruthless accountability. And a new identity. That's it. No fluff. No hacks. No gimmicks. Do this and A stars stop being a dream they become a system. Now here's the part I'm really curious about. Do you actually believe you could survive this four-hour study method? Because let's be honest, most people love the idea of studying less and scoring higher. But when it comes to actually putting their phone in another room, their hands start shaking like an addict. Be real with me. Would you actually do it? Or would you cling to your 10-hour highlighting sessions and convince yourself that somehow, someday, that's going to work. I'll tell you what, drop your answer in the comments. If you think you're disciplined enough, 
Say, four hours equals enough, and let me see how many of you actually have the guts to commit. And if you disagree, if you still believe you need to study eight, 10, 12 hours to get results, go ahead and fight me in the comments. I want to see your arguments, because here's the secret. The real war isn't against exams. It's against your own comfort. And the moment you admit that, you either rise above average or you stay trapped in it. So, what's it going to be? Four hours of brutal focus or endless hours of fake progress? Your choice. I'll be waiting for your answers below.